You know how they say you can't judge a book by its cover? Well, everyone's judging your videos by its cover, also known as the thumbnail. Let's talk about the most important part of video marketing and how it can help you as a realtor. If you're new to this channel, I'm Sebastian Malinowski and I help real estate agents like you grow their business through marketing so they never have to do any old school prospecting again. If this is something that you're interested in, please consider subscribing to this channel. Yeah, and don't forget the ringy dingy bell button. And now back to our regularly scheduled, very important message. Listen, we can't deny it any longer. Video is the most powerful way of growing your no like and trust factor. But the question is, how do you get people to actually watch your videos? Write a good book and tell people not to judge it by its cover? I'm testing out some new jokes. Did you like that one? Oh, you did. Come on, you did. Hit like if you did. The brutal truth is, yes, people do judge every book by its cover. And it's no different with your videos. People will judge the quality of your videos, believe it or not, by the look of its thumbnail. Your community will only watch your videos if the cover is attention grabbing. You can have the most amazing video filled with great content that a buyer or seller or anyone in your community will find useful. But it's kind of sad that if your thumbnail doesn't have a certain look to it, nobody will actually watch that video. Yeah, it's sad, but true. You know me, I'm all about video content and I've been testing out a few different thumbnails and I found something really interesting. Really, how interesting. I'll get into that in just a moment. First, I wanna let you know that when you upload a video to YouTube, it's not just the thumbnail that makes a difference, it makes the biggest difference. However, you also have to look at different factors of the video, different aspects that will help your video rank on YouTube. There's the title, there's the description, the tags, how many times it's been shared on social media platforms. Now would be a great time for you to share this video, maybe? But do that after you finish watching this video. Then share it. All these things are important. But here's a question. When you go on YouTube or on Google and you ask, you Google it, you Google your question, what happens? Well, if you're on YouTube, a bunch of videos come up. If you're on Google, you have a combination of videos plus other content that comes up. Which one do you normally choose? Well, it's obvious. The one that catches your attention. Usually, if there is a YouTube video on the first page of Google, your eye automatically goes there. What that means is you get one chance. One chance at making a great first impression. And how do you do that? With an eye-catching thumbnail. It is kind of sad that you can have great content on your video, but if no one clicks on it, it's almost as if it didn't exist. And you don't want to not exist, do you? Does that make sense? I know it's not fair, but that's just reality. Now I've got my computer right here and I'm about to show you something. In fact, my own YouTube channel. And I'm going to show you what I've been working on. I guess you can call it a bit of an experiment with my thumbnails. When I started this YouTube channel back in, well, I don't know how long it's been, but I started uploading videos in 2017 and I actually took the time on my thumbnails. I made sure that they popped so they get noticed. And in 2018, because I'm uploading content every single day, I don't really have time to put towards creating this incredible looking thumbnail. So they're kind of bland. I mean, they're okay, but they're not really optimized. And I noticed something between my old thumbnails and my new thumbnails. Let's take a look here on my YouTube channel. 936 subscribers, hint, hint. And you can see it's, it's predominantly all red. Now you may have noticed this one. This one is a new one that I just created yesterday. And you can see how different it looks from the other ones. I tried to do some sort of a uniform brand play in the sense that yes, it's all red. So when you go on my YouTube channel, it looks uniform. It looks like all the videos belong together. 
And then we go to some blue. This is stuff that I did up to about a month ago. I, like I said, it's it, I did kind of an experiment between 2017 and 18, I think it was, to now 2019. So the stuff in the red and the blue right here, that's this year in 2019. And they're getting roughly, I mean, some are getting 50 views, some are getting 300 views. And then we go back, we keep scrolling. And here you notice that I have different looking thumbnails. This one's got 144, 254, so it's okay. But at least these thumbnails pop a little bit more than the blue ones, for example. I like the blue, I like that navy blue look, but unfortunately it doesn't pop out at you. When somebody's on YouTube, they want information, that one just kind of blends into the background. And then take a look at these ones down here. Let me move this up, right here. So they all look kind of uniform. Notice the green one sticks out because it's green, it's different. That's how you want your thumbnails to look. Now this green one, it's not real estate related, so that's why I made it green. And look what happened. When people go on YouTube and they, they search any kind of liver transplant, they will see that. And because it's green, it pops out. I did that completely by accident. It was an accidental experiment. Yellows, greens, bright colors, they pop. So in that video, is displayed in your results when you Google something or if you're on YouTube and you search something, that video will get majority of the clicks and the rest will just kind of blend in. And it's funny because this one, look, it has 4.5 thousand views and I uploaded this two years ago. If you look at my some of my other videos that have been here maybe up to two years, this was my original branding. All the pictures have a uniform kind of like a bluish tint to them that was done on purpose white lettering with red background that was also done on purpose and look at the views on these ones this one's got 649 look 8,000 views 1.1 thousand almost a thousand 1.5 thousand 900 so you can see how they're getting more views now yes they're older videos so it would make sense however i'm not going to get into the details they get a much higher click through rate on average versus the new ones that i put up there why because when you're on youtube or google and you get your results whatever blends in doesn't get clicked on the the videos that pop out they get clicked on that's why the liver video gets constantly clicked on it has nothing to do with real estate but people keep clicking on it by the way it's an interesting story my wife donated her liver to a dear friend of ours sarah that's her right there and that's my wife over there if you want to watch it it's actually a cool story does that make sense that's the experiment that i did and now i am going to go back through my videos and i'm going to start slowly updating them to something that looks more like this. I've been playing around with the thumbnail yesterday. I wanna make sure that it stands out. And I wanna use yellow, I wanna use red, maybe green, I haven't really finalized my colors, but the bright colors, specifically yellow, they're the ones that attract. Your eyeball automatically goes there. That's why whatever I do, I'm probably going to put yellow. If not, I will actually use that line green. If I add a little bit of green or maybe yellow, it's just enough to pop, to stand out. Y you know what I mean? Just like everyone judges a book by its cover, people will judge your videos by its thumbnail. Call it fair, not fair, I don't know, that's reality, just the way it is. Right, Bob? Bob? Bob's not here. Oh well, don't forget to subscribe. Take care.